Hi, we're Francie and Mike Bennett. We're on our new Nordhaven 40, hole number 67. About 10 years ago, we went to the Annapolis Boat Show, and that's the first time we saw a Nordhaven. It was the 40 that went around the world, and it was love at first sight for me. After that, no other boat I saw measured up to a Nordhaven, and, and that's what I wanted. I didn't want any other boat. We tried to look at a number of other boats, but Francie wouldn't be swayed. And truth is, uh, I love the boat just as much as her. So uh, since that time, we've uh, uh, we've done nothing but plan to uh, eventually own the Nordhaven in 40. Uh, and here we are today. We decided we wanted to be where it was uh, warm in the winter and cool in the summer, and then spend spring and fall on the Chesapeake Bay. And at that point, we decided we were going to live aboard. And we knew that the Nordhaven would be a boat we felt safe and secure on, and that's how we made our choice. It's always been a joint decision to live aboard a boat. I, I was. I was in love with the idea from the very beginning. Um, I've always loved boating. I hated on the weekends when we had to leave the boat. I wanted to stay on the boat all the time. So it, it was an easy decision for me. We were originally uh, looking at brokerage boats uh, as our long-term goal to acquire a Nordhaven 40, uh, thinking we really couldn't afford to buy a brand new boat. And uh, I think what did it for us in, in looking for a brand new boat instead was that on the East Coast at least we couldn't really find a, a used boat that was equipped the way that we would like it to, to be. And when the economy in 2008 or so started going downhill, we were looking at the fact that we might not ever realize our dream that we needed to move quickly and for us uh, buying a new boat made more sense. Uh, it would be under warranty, it would be the newest in terms of equipment and updates that Nordhaven is known for constantly making improvements to their boats and uh, so us it made the most amount of sense. Uh, we're now docked at uh, Summit North Marina, it's on the Chesapeake Delaware Canal, the CMD Canal in Delaware uh, where we will be living full time. Uh, for a few more years until uh, I can retire and we can take off and realize the rest of our dream. Uh, the boat was commissioned in uh, Portsmouth, Rhode Island, and uh, I brought it down with the help of a friend and with our uh, friend and salesman Dave Walfour from Rhode Island down here to Delaware. Uh, our trip was about 37 hours, uh, so it was my first trip as a uh, Nordhaven owner. first inkling I had that this was our boat was uh, when I was in the pilot house and I had started up the engine and getting ready to cast off and to date uh, Dave would be standing next to me providing uh, some advice on maneuvering the boat. Uh, but this day he was down below on the dock uh, holding a dock line and he said, ready when you are. And uh, I had to uh, get out of a spot alongside between some pilings and there was a 47, the Nordhaven 47 in front of me, so it was a little tight fit. And uh, got the boat out myself without uh, Dave's advice. He was uh, strictly a dock hand at that point. And it kind of uh, dawned on me that uh, this was my show, this was my trip to bring our boat home uh, to my wife, Francie. Uh, the second, uh, the second instance where I knew this was my boat was uh, we were off of uh, Long Island, it had turned dark, and uh, Dave was in the pilot house and he looked at the chart and he said, oh, we're going uh, right through the, uh, the middle of the scallop beds. The entire scallop fleet will be out tonight. Good night. And with that he went below to catch a much needed nap. <laughs> And uh, obviously we negotiated the scallop fleet just fine, but um, it, was, uh, it was really on me to navigate, to uh, be the captain of the boat, and uh, it meant a lot to me that Dave trusted me. I can't describe how exciting it is to have our boat now. Um, it, it's just, I still can't believe it's our boat, and I'm so happy and excited, and it's hard to describe those feelings. <laughs> It is a uh, certain numbness and disbelief that uh, we do, one, have the Nordhaven that we've been dreaming about, and two, that we bought a brand new one. 
uh, and it's ours uh, for now until we move in full time in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we come down on the weekends, and uh, it's uh, it's just so relaxing. It's pleasant. Uh, I think we're really going to enjoy living aboard here full time, and we really look forward to uh, going going places. Uh, we're frequently asked, what advice would we give other people who uh, may be considering buying a boat, buying a Nordhaven, and um, maybe living aboard? And the only advice that we can give is that you need to make a decision to do it and just do it. The, the economy and finances are scary things, uh, but you only live once. It might not get better than this. And that's a decision that we faced. Uh, we thought we'd be a few more years out. And when real estate prices started to drop and uh, unemployment rose and uh, our investments weren't going as well, we came to a realization that if we don't do something soon, we may not ever be able to do it. We may not get the Nord Island. Uh, we may not get any boat. We may not live aboard. And that uh, drove us into making the decision. And even though um, financially, uh, if we talk to a financial advisor, they would advise us against it. Of course they would. They're uh, sensible people. Uh, for us, we just uh, decided we only live once. Uh, we want to do things the way we want to, to do it the right way. Buying a boat, living on it, buying an expensive boat such as a Nordhaven isn't the most sensible thing. You can't rationalize it in uh, normal terms of everyday living. You just have to decide that it's the thing that you want to do with the rest of your life and then um, sign the papers. We definitely made the right choice in choosing a Nordhaven. Um, I can't get over how beautiful this boat is and how comfortable it is. I, I just love it. Uh, for me, the, uh, the trip on our delivery from Rhode Island to here in Delaware uh, is uh, we had a little bit of rough weather, it wasn't too bad, but it's just the boat, uh, how it handles is extremely confidence inspiring. Uh, at no time do you worry about the seaworthiness of the boat, and uh, I found it to be particularly sea kindly as well. Uh, it's uh, in moderate conditions, it's easy to move about the boat and go about your business. Um, and that, that meant a lot to me, not having uh, been on a 40 out in the trip, especially our Nord Island 40, uh, that was a, a first time and uh, the boat performed uh, flawlessly. Uh, so we definitely made the, the right decision from the standpoint of uh, feeling safe and secure in our boat. Uh, we also uh, enjoy that uh, you develop relationships with the folks at Nordhaven. I mean, yeah. Dave Balfour started out as a salesperson for us who patiently for eight years answered questions and uh, entertained us at boat shows. And uh, But since that time he's become a friend along with uh, the other folks, Ben Sprague and Jennifer Stern. Uh, it means a, a great deal uh, to us that it wasn't just uh, uh, like buying a car where it's here's the key, see you later. We have a long-term relationship with Nordhaven and we feel confident that uh, they will always be there to support us when we need help, whether it's uh, a servicing issue or whether it's uh, just to answer my stupid questions uh, repeatedly. <laughs>